After recrystallization, the crystals are isolated by vacuum filtration. This separates the filtrate that you don't want from the beautiful crystals that have formed. This is a vacuum filtration apparatus. You start with choosing the correct size filter flask. This is a Buchner funnel, as you can see here, attached to a filter flask on top of a neoprene adapter. It's very important to have the neoprene adapter there so that there is a tight seal when a vacuum is formed. This is attached to a ring stand and a three-pronged clamp. Do not just prop your filter flask and Buchner funnel on the side of the bench because it surely will fall and then your crystals you isolate will go all over the bench. Alternatively, for smaller batches of crystals, we use the Hirsch funnel. For this, you want to choose the small pieces of filter paper that fit snugly on top over the porcelain holes. So there's three types of filter papers found in our laboratory. The small one for the Hirsch funnel, the next size larger for the Buchner funnel, which looks like this, and then the filter papers that are larger that we use for gravity filtration. You do not want to try to stuff the gravity filter paper into the the Buchner funnel, as this would not be a good vacuum filtration. All right, so um, in order to start the vacuum filtration, we turn on the vacuum, which you can hear, and then you want to moisten the filter paper with a little bit of a cold solvent that your crystals are not soluble in. This makes sure that the filter paper is adhered tightly and the filter crystals will not go under the filter paper when you filter. Next, we have our crystals that are suspended in the solvent. You want to gently swirl to suspend the crystals and then pour in the center of the filter paper. Isn't that pretty? All right, you may want to do a couple rinses, and again, you would only use a small amount of the solvent that the crystals are not soluble in to transfer any remaining material left in the filter flask. You want to leave the crystals on the filter paper with the vacuum pulled till they're nice and dry and can be moved around with your metal spatula. So a good five or ten minutes on the filter paper will give you nice dry crystals with a good melting point if they're pure. All right, after the crystals are dry, you want to release the pressure. And to do this, you slowly pull the vacuum tube. Again, notice we're using thick wall tubing here, not the thin wall tubing. And release the pressure. And turn off the vacuum. Then you can carefully transfer the crystals to a watch glass or into a vial uh, for um, massing or determining the yield. <laughs>